hello guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for this coming out here if you're just joining us please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you talking about nigerian leaders forging certificates <laughs> and all that peter will be the presidential candidate of the labor party has come out to tell nigerians the implications of all this Peter will be the candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election and said that Nigeria is facing a lot of leadership challenges because Nigerian leaders who have been caught in the web certificates and age forgery cannot do the right thing in office. The former governor of Anambra State, Southeast Nigeria, who is challenging the election of President Tinubu, in the February 25th election said this on Monday while speaking on Arise TV, the morning show. Obi, who insisted that he had, he and his political party would continue to challenge the electoral process through which Tunubu, a former Lagos governor, was declared winner of the presidential election said that the process through which people come into office assume or achieve anything is far more fundamental than what they do there thereafter on whether tunubu was qualified to contest for the election or not will be said the issue of qualification is the issue of leaders making statements and doing things that are honest and truthful. He added that it is an issue of honor and integrity, which, according to him, is the foundation on which a society is built. He said, we are at a point where we are challenging the process. These are part of what makes a nation, the process through which people come into office assume or achieve anything is far more fundamental than what they do there what they do there thereafter it is important that people come through the right door and not just jumping in through the window and say we should move on and clean things up we are challenging the process and has that has to come to a logical end before any other thing it has to be something that people will seemly. That is why I said we have to begin by doing the right thing. The issue of qualification is the issue of leaders making statements, during, doing things that are honest and truthful. This is an issue of honor and integrity. It is the foundation on which you build society. Looking at what is happening in Nigeria today, there are so many issues of certificates, age, all sort of one falsification or the other all over within the leaders. There is no way people can be doing this and be able to do the right thing because they are living a forceful life and that is not good morally. And the sign is should be given to the society you don't really have to have all the degrees in the world to be a great to be great but you need to be humble about your past so we can know who exactly you are sahara reporters had reported that atiku abubaka the candidate of the people's democratic party pdp in the 2023 presidential election brought a case before a court in the United States in an effort to establish that President Bola Tinubu was not eligible to be Nigerian president, despite his election in February 2023, and that he tendered a forged certificate to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. INEC had declared Tinubu as the winner of the election, saying article of the People's Democratic Party came second, and Peter B of the Labour Party came third. Tinubu recently 
lost his emergency appeal to the United States District Court for the Northern District in Chicago to stop Chicago State University for releasing his academic records to Atiku. In a, in, in, in a ruling on Tinubu's emergence application in case number 23CV05099, Judge Nelson L. Madonado overruled President Tinubu's objection to Magistrate George Glibrat's recommended ruling and therefore adopt the ruling in full. Sahara reporters reported on September 25th that Tinubu appealed against the ruling of Judge Jeffrey T. Glibert, setting, sitting at the United States District Court of Northern Illinois, which ordered the Chicago State University to release all relevant records pertaining to him, to Nigeria's former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. Sahara reporters had reported how the federal government in Chicago why ruling on the federal court, please pardon me, the federal court in Chicago, why ruling on the civil case filed by Atiku Abubaka granted the applicant's request to the court, stating that the former vice president had been able to sufficiently satisfy the purpose for seeking the records. Tinubu subsequently pleaded with George Nelson Madonado to block all other details, especially the gender and admission records, among others, of the owner of the certificate. However, his appeal failed. Is really very disgraceful. You understand? It's really very disgraceful that our leaders forge certificates. It's really very disgraceful. So what will you tell the children? What, what will you tell the children? What will you tell the young ones? This Bola Metunubu certificate forgery is a very big embarrassment to Nigeria. So guys, what's your take on what Peter B have just said? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for always coming out here. Bye for now.